Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Matt with Green Bar Trading. In this video, I'm going to go over a trade that we took on GMVD. This was the leading gapper. This was where all the eyes were on this morning. Um, and it was up over 100%. So before we get into this trade breakdown, and I'm going to go over everything that you guys need to know if you trade momentum stocks, low flow type of stocks like this. So hit that thumbs up for the video. If you are new, consider subscribing. So let's get right into it. All right, so GMVD, this is the daily chart. It is a former runner. It has made massive, massive moves in the past, all right? So we already know what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a stock that can really make a big move. And that's exactly what we saw. I'm gonna go over the float in just a second. Before I do, I'm gonna basically break down why I got into this stock right at 7 a.m. I didn't even wait for any type of confirmation. Um, I guess there was a little confirmation. It was over VWAP already, and it was over the 9 EMA. So I shouldn't say there was no confirmation, but it was a very strong catalyst, a very low float. We love these types of setups, especially when all those platforms open at 7 a.m. And you can see right here, this is when I was trading it, these huge green volume bars. So um, I'll get into my entry and exit in just a second. You obviously can tell by the thumbnail that it was a very quick trade. But before we do that, let's look at the catalyst. All right, so this news came out at 6.15. Now, with a lot of these biotech stocks, news will come out in the pre-market. That's why I like to be aware of um, you know, breaking news that's happening on these stocks. This was a very good uh, catalyst. This was enough of a catalyst to give this low float stock, this former runner, um, a very nice move. And that's what we saw. So their technology is very good for monitoring those vital signs in patients. So it was a good catalyst. And, you know, once I see that, once I see a good catalyst, the next thing I want to double check is what is the float. All right. So we come over here to flow checker. We type up GMVD and this is what we get. This is a beautiful float. I mean, basically around a million shares, um, maybe slightly just under. For some reason, the Wall Street Journal has 69 million, but the other four all are in line. So this is what I'm going on. Even TD, TD was pretty accurate on that too. So extremely low float, catalyst, the leading gapper, right? Um, and at the time that I got in, it was uh, just over 50%. So it was a very strong gapper, um, exactly what we wanna see. Now, my entries and exits. The first thing I always look at is the daily chart the 200 EMA, I want to make sure that we're not close to that. And if we're over that, that's even better. But I want room because a lot of times this will act as resistance. So that was not a problem at all. Now going over to the one minute chart, putting on my settings, the settings I use are VWAP, which is this yellow line, and this blue line, which is the nine EMA. All right. So we're going to dial in here our entries, our entry and our exit. So this is when the news comes out. It spikes up. Like I said, 7 a.m. candle is right here. This candle right here is the 7 a.m. candle. Like I said, if something's gapping up, make sure that it holds over VWAP. Super important. And at 7 a.m., it got a pullback to 453 and then ripped up. And I got in with 750 shares at $4.67. And that was at seven, uh, seven o'clock and 29 seconds. So I did wait a little bit. And the reason why I waited 
is because I wanted to make sure that this was going to hold up and it was going to be over that nine EMA because that's really where you can tell that momentum, especially that first wave of momentum will be held up by this nine EMA. Um, all right, so that was my entry. My exit was about 50 seconds later at the price of $5 a share. So the reason why I got out at that psych level at five is because I wanted to make sure that I locked up those gains, got a good entry. Now, obviously, you know, looking at this in hindsight, why didn't I sell all my shares right there? It's because it's very hard to know that that's going to happen. And at this point, this is up over 100%. Now, the market has been pretty decent for momentum, but I'm totally happy with taking $245 in 50 seconds. That's exactly what I'm in this for, is to scalp in and out very, very quickly. A lot of trades are going to be under one minute. So you got to make sure that you dial up your entry. Um, so anyway, the catalyst on this, um, the float especially, it was a former runner. It's over VWAP, and it looked very strong um, and felt totally confident. I can't stress that enough. Absolutely, totally, totally confident with getting in that at 7 o'clock in the morning. And... Um, you know, all my experience tells me that I was 100% right on that. I mean, just look at that move from seven. You had a couple nice pullbacks, a couple of nice pullbacks, and then you start to, um, you know, get to that top. That first move is always the best. Even the second move is really good. Um, and we should look at this on the five minute as well. All right, so let's see if we could break down this five minute chart. All right, so 7 a.m. right here, got a nice candle. Um, this is where that first pullback really happened. This is that first five minute setup. All right, it didn't have a five minute setup until right here. This um, 715, 720 candle. And this is that new candle make a new high here this nice breakout after that first pullback so once something is very extended on the five minute we look for these five minute setups where it consolidates a little bit over vwap it consolidates over the nine and then we get that nice move now on the one minute chart this could have been a pullback here to vwap as well on the one minute and we saw that here so the five minute Candle right here. That was a nice move, five minute setup. And then on the one minute chart, we got a nice bounce here off of VWAP to give us another trade. And then off the open, it halted up, halted down, um, and gets pretty choppy. But that's because it's over 100% gainer. And a lot of shorts are just, you know, getting in really hard right there. But I don't think this stock is done. We'll see how it finishes up. I mean, it's up 91% now at 11 a.m. And the support, support that I've noticed actually in this pre-market was right here. And that's what has held up during the regular session. Because right here, you had a lot of support around there. It was resistance. Once it broke it, it was support. And that's what traders were looking at during the trading day. So, you know, keep learning that technical analysis. And I hope you enjoyed the video as always. Um, and we'll see you back on the next one. Take care, guys.